You want the bizarre truth? John F. Kennedy was shot on November 22, 1963, and tragically died in the arms of his beloved wife, Jacqueline. He was laid to rest at Arlington National Cemetery, a well-known fact for all Americans. But what happened then? In October 1966, three years after the president's assassination, his brain, preserved after the autopsy and stored in the National Archives, had mysteriously vanished. An investigation was started by the Attorney General at the time, and yet a thief was never identified. The big question remains, who took JFK's brain and what was their motive? Crazy as it may seem, over five decades later, no one knows. The JFK assassination has sparked countless debates and conspiracy theories. Some theorists speculate that JFK's brain holds the truth about his death. Officially, his autopsy found that he'd been struck twice from above and behind. This fits with the conclusion that Lee Harvey Oswald fatally shot the president from the sixth floor of the Texas Book Depository. However, the brain's disappearance raises suspicions that it was stolen to conceal potential evidence suggesting JFK was shot from the front rather than the back, and the missing organ would have proved Kennedy was not shot by Lee Harvey Oswald. In the latest twist, a theory suggests JFK's younger brother, Robert, may have taken the brain, possibly to hide evidence of the extent of President Kennedy's illnesses or the numerous medications he was taking.